Top five rappers. Top five rappers. My top, obviously, the top. I suppose should I start from one or five? Sure, it's up to you, man. Uh, I bro, man a, lot, a lot of people like to leave the best to last, so you can start from five or go down. Uh, cool. Five. Five. Top five rappers of all time. Yeah. Alright, boom. Five, I'm gonna put Slum Village. Yeah? Because the man played a tune, even just up to today, and took me flashbacks when I was a kid. When I grew up on hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, that wasn't the main thing I was listening to. But Slum Village for lyrics, melodies, like original melodies, original flows. Yeah. You know what I mean? They bang that and they made that maintain through their own style independently as well. You get me? So big up Slum Village. Okay. All day. You know what I mean? Number four. I'm gonna say lyrically, like for me, the game. You know what I mean? The game. Try whatever he does. I don't. Contrary to whatever he does outside of the industry or whatever, people think he's fake and he's not real. Or people think he's the realest. Like game for me, a big lyricist. You know what I mean? I'm not one of these guys who believes in the bullshit through the media. You get me? I can see or a sense of man's pain. Niggas' pain is a stand-up dude. I can say yeah, boom. You know what I mean? Like yeah. That's my shit, I can relate that. I can relate to that. That's real life. I can, you know what I mean? I can feel that. All right, rapper wise, that was four, right? Three. Yeah, number three. I'm gonna say my nigga 50 Cent. You get me? Reason being, reason being, I'm gonna say 50 Cent. Yeah? It's because 50 Cent is a self made nigga. Understand, he is one of the realest rap dudes out ever in his rap game. Meaning that he was this guy from young. His mum was a shot. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's seen 50 Cent story. You know what I mean? His mum was a shot of that. He was in this life. So anything he was rapping to get from getting shot nine times through his mum dying and feeling that kind of thing. You have to, you have to be able to relate to that. And plus, business-wise, I know you're saying music, rappers and that, but he's a role model for young black youth. Business-wise, there's no one who's done much business news as 50 Cent. You know what I'm saying? You have to rate that. Music wise, he put out hits on hits on hits. You know what I'm saying? To the point now, he don't put his videos on TV no more. Straight on his YouTube channel. You know what I mean? That's real. Like, that's something to live up to. Like, if I can say, yeah, I've got enough fans to have my shit in the YouTube channel. You know? And not put it on TV and still make this money, still make these hits. Come on, man, I'm as relevant as they come. You know what I mean? Alright, number two, it's gonna be a joint. And I'm gonna say joint in the sense that I don't think number one can even know. Even though that's his niggas, and I know they will say, yeah, for real. And what I'm saying is true, you know, those are his niggas, I know he, no one can get put on the pedestal. So, number one, who we'll know that's gonna be my. Number two, I'm gonna do a stroke. It's gonna be Outlaws, Stroke, Rakim. Yeah, because Rakim is the original. Don't forget that. Rakim is the original, like, when he was fighting the angels and demons in his video. You know, when you got banned from MTV, you got a member that yeah. came, that is a great, like, a great pioneer of this. I wonder if Godfather's a rap. Trust me, Godfather's a rap. You know what I mean? Big up Easy as well, but he can't get in my list because I only started taking Easy E serious if I'm real. I think I was a bit young for Easy. You know what I mean? I started taking Easy E like in the last year that he died. You know what I'm saying? So, 94, 95, I started. I started Real content G's and all that. By yeah. that time, I was there. I was already a Death Row fan. So yeah, yeah. I think a lot of us in the UK was more introduced to Death Row. We saw it like that Worldwide. before. You know what I mean? A lot of easy exactly. stuff. Exactly. Ruthless was a big in America. Yeah, yeah. Revolutionary America. I mean, a lot of us were sort of NWA records around, but we didn't right. necessarily listen to them. But. Right, right. And Dre went to Death Row, so made it like great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. Outlaws as well. But we're Outlaws. Outlaws and Rakim, I mean, Outlaws being the sense that they were people who was like young, young boys. Obviously, Pop was in the middle of not a middle age, you know what I mean? He was in his 20s, 19, like early 20s to 25, and obviously representing for black people, you know what I mean, in general, the rebel, the, the outcast, the outlaw, you know what I mean? But because of the outlaws was there and they was younger, it looked, it looked like a good thing, a good thing for the future because you can see in their eyes that the passion they was following behind their role model. Like the disciples, it's like, bro, these guys are gonna be fucking huge in the future. And even Pop knew that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they were outlaws, you know what I mean? And everything they've done for man as well, yeah, they were outlaws, real love. Yo, yeah, number one has to be Machiavelli the Don, man. You get me two, perhaps you call, you already know. 
trade. So we turn man go. You know, the real go. Sorry, Ellen, but this is the real go. Yeah, it has to be because he set a lot of pathways for a lot of people. He gave people that that charisma to be the rebel and the outcast, you know what I mean? That's what I try pushing my music and that shit that I think people should bring back in the essence of music. A lot of these artists have got positions of power and don't use it properly, you know what I mean? So it's all about being productive and constructive with it. At the same time, you show people how to be a man and a, and a person, not one say and a woman, because you can't show you the woman qualities, but through his mum, obviously, you can see that he can show you certain qualities. That's the same thing I've got. I've got my cousins and I've got as well. You get me? Like, that value from the mum, the mum relationship, where you can say, right, you can understand a male and a female man. Like, in perspective of life, I'm going off the topic, but that's the kind of shit he does, make you go off topic. That's how real it is. So, yeah, number one is the GOAT, two touch of core. Number two is Outlaws and the Kim. Number three is 50 Cent. Number four is the game. And number five is. Slum village motherfuckers. That's it of the law in this bitch. Amen. Out. Just thoughts on hip hop right now. Boy, you know, I'm kinda like, you know it is obviously there's a lot of artists that I do like in the sense of lyrics. I've always been a lyric guy, you know what I'm saying? So shit that I like listening to is what he's saying. What's his dude saying? You know what I mean? There's a couple of people out right now who'd be surprised if you have a lot of to him, yeah, man. But that like, way he's talking about his wordplay and I mean, their wordplay and the way they move, their individual reality, you know what I mean? The way they move. You have to remember, like, there's a lot of artists out here of potential, man. But there's a lot of artists who's fucking up the game, like the drill music kind of thing. You have to represent, you have to respect and represent that. That That's a representation of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's something for Chicago. You can't sit there and say, that's not that. Because you're killing if they think that they made they made of rap. You know what I mean? Pop has got so many different cutoffs it can have from pop. So rap should be able to have that as well. It can be reality rap, it can be gangster rap, it can be drill, it can be trap. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that the artist is shit and it doesn't mean that hip hop heads have to buy into every genre of hip hop. You know what I mean? So if you don't like it, then don't listen to it. You know what I mean? There's plenty of the artists who's still doing gangster rap to reality rap. The reason that people moan is because it's not. The main things like the Drake's and the yeah, Drake's hard. Let me know get Drake. Drake's a bunch, but um, the people like, what can I say, Buckley and the Migos, you know what I mean? The little wings, and that's the new generation of country, what people like me are supposed to be like. But you don't really get gassed up, you just have to be your own person for hip hop. And so take it back to what you like and what hip hop means to you, man. And that's how I think everyone is not up to me to say, man my judgment on the game, you know what I mean? Like, let the game be, the game's gonna grow in different angles, so that the front, so let it grow, you know what I mean? Then we are.